So I'm here with the two managers of the Mass United under 12s team. How are you feeling playing under the name of Mass United now? Um, exciting. It's, uh, it's definitely exciting, isn't it? Yeah. To, to be playing for you know where we live. Um, we watch Mass United a few times. We come down and cheer the boys on when we can. Um, I think it's I think it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to playing for a local side. Definitely. Part of a good setup. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Do you think it's a good opportunity for the kids playing for the youth team of a real football side? Oh, hundred percent. Absolutely. 100%, yeah. This is this is why we've done it, isn't it? Yeah. This is why we've why we why we joined. Really, as soon as I as soon as I heard it one Wednesday night, I just I caught Bob down here talking about it, and I saw that I was here again, yeah. and and I just jumped in straight away. I was like, I'm a coach. I've got a full team. Yeah. I can I can I can come down straight away if you like. No problem. I'll bring me full team. So it's an opportunity we couldn't uh, yeah it took, out on. took a couple of weeks, didn't it? Yeah. But, but yeah. in the end, we got we, we got it done. Like yeah. the boys will love it. They're all they're all most of them are local lads. Yeah. So you know, and they come down and watch the first team. So yeah. they're, they're really excited to be down here. Obviously, season begins September. What are you hoping to achieve this season? Uh, I don't think uh, probably promotion again. I don't. I mean, I think we would have liked to be a bit higher. Um, we, we, we're definitely capable of it. We just need yeah. a little bit more consistency. But we we signed a few new players this year. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice to gel them together this season. Yeah. Um, first season on the Mask United. Um, but nice. we've already we've already won one tournament in the summer already um we've got another tournament planned in for september um and hopefully you're just another promotion again up, up another league we're just going up one by one at the minute yeah the hard, the hard working boys so I, I, we can say we'll, we'll give it a good go definitely brilliant guy first look for the season thank you for your Lovely. time Uh, yeah, I thought the game was uh, good. The, the first half was quite even, even maybe Cleef Ops are the better team, but it was a genuine improvement in the second half from the lads and that was shown with the two goals, even though they probably were both all goals. So we got a bit lucky, but three points are three points at the end of the day. You can never complain, can you? Yeah, I, I thought uh, O'Sullivan was very impressive today, uh, winning everything at the back in the absence of Wheatley uh, and his throw-ins. Every time he took one, uh, there were causing issues for the defence and that's what uh, one of the goals came from the corner re resulting from a throw. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to go with O'Sullivan, but realistically, any of the lads could have gone today. I don't think anyone was worse than anyone else. It was good performance all round. Uh, yeah, Pickering are uh, on paper one of the weaker sides in the division. So, uh, and, and at home as well, we, we never really lose at home. But yeah, it should be a good test. Hopefully, a couple of goals, uh, and we'll just just take it from there. But I'd be I'd be surprised if we we didn't uh, get the get the through the next round against them. Like, but. Hello, Baker. My thoughts for Pickering this weekend. It's not going to be as easy as a lot of people would expect, I think. But I don't see why we can't win. I think we've got a good enough team. I think we have more togetherness. We're more organised as well as a unit. And defensively, I think we're much better on paper than Pickering are. And Pickering in recent times have been really, really poor. And they survived relegation from this division only because of the COVID pandemic. Um, I said I don't want to speak too much about the pandemic because it's been an absolute nightmare. But... You know, the FA Cup's always difficult and I'll say if we can win today, 
So if we can win this weekend against Pickering, then I don't see why we can't beat them in the league. For me, the FA Cup is one of the most unpredictable competitions in English football. If we can get to the first round, like we nearly did last year, then it will be superb because it will mean the game possibly on the TV. And at the same time, it would also be massive for a club of Mask United's size. It would be beneficial for the players as well. The players will be able to get a bit of experience into them. It all depends on which team we actually come up against because it all depends on the draw. If we get an easy draw, we should be fine. If we get a team that's possibly in the National League, it might be a bit of a struggle. But I'm confident in the team. I think we've got a good enough squad. You know, Dale Hobson's made a massive impact since he's come, um, as well as Tajikio. Curtis has been playing well, Tyman's been playing well, the whole team has been playing well. So if we can continue the form that we've been doing in pre-season, taking it into the league games and into the FA Cup, I don't see why we can't get through. My prediction for uh, the game, by the way, is a 3-1 win to mask. It's always difficult for me to predict some of these FA Cup games. Um, because you just don't know what to expect. It's all down to which team turns up on the day. I think Mask will because I think Pickering are pretty poor at the minute. I spoke to a few Pickering fans who actually have been at the Mask games and they said they've been a really poor side in recent times. They've lost some of their best players because they haven't got the funding. And that's the thing with non-league. You know, you've got to get the funds from the ticket sales and, you know, you get to get funds into the club as well. It's very difficult. So if we can win today, uh, this weekend, sorry, if we can win against Pickering, then I think we can possibly coast home and possibly go to the fourth round qualifying. But we'll just have to go with the floor for the minute. It's just one game at a time. 3-1 mask is my prediction. Curtis, um, Dale Hobson and boys. So Glenn, two 0 win at home to Cleethorpes today. How are you feeling after that win? Um, the lads, uh, lads over the moon. You know, three points to uh, kick the league off is great. Um, the lads were a bit disappointed first half. I thought we were second best all over the park. Um, it was a little bit windy out there. I think Cleethorpes did a really good job. They pinned us in, and you know didn't let us play. And I think it was a bit of a wake up call. But we got in half time, regrouped, changed our game plan, got next to men, and then you know two goals came, and then we saw the game out. So I think it's what this league's all about. A um, bit of a wake up call, but. Good three points. Today was the first time playing in front of fans again for a while. Do you think that benefited you? Oh, absolutely. You know, it, I think it was a four four fifty ish. I think in today, which is just fantastic. Um, on a personal level, wife, kids are here watching again. It's all it's all good, and you know the noise and the atmosphere when you're walking out. It all just adds to it. So no, please, the fans are back in. Finally, next week we take on Pickering in the FA Cup, um, first qualifying round. How are you feeling going into that, obviously after such a great run last year? Um, I think we've, we've got to be feeling confident, I'll have a pick in our league and we know they're going to, they're going to be a strong fit team like all the teams in our league. Um, I think they've been beat today 4-0 off Shildon, uh, we know quite a lot about Shildon so I'm sure you know Carl and Clarkie and Nicky and Demacca will do the homework and hopefully we'll go to that and get another win and keep progressing in the FA Cup. Brilliant Glenn, thank you for your time. No, So Nick a 2-0 win against Cleethorpes at home today, how are you feeling? Uh, obviously delighted with the win. Uh, half time, obviously we went at half time, the first half we were very disappointed with, you know, a little more at it, many more second balls. Uh, so obviously disappointed to, to, to start how we did, we started slow, but like I said, half time came. Uh, obviously Cal got me there, we, we, we regrouped and uh, second half come up with a bit of a different team, many more settled the second balls, got the early goal obviously that helped, but uh, a far better second half performance is what we wanted and we got it. Obviously first time playing back in front of fans in a while, do you think that benefited? Uh, always got to benefit, yeah. Great, great to have people here, you know, supporting the club, got good support and obviously from the player, player's point of view and our point of view, it's great to have people back in, you know, I'm delighted and hopefully we carry on get some good numbers and have some good uh, afternoons and nights down here. Next weekend we take on Pickering here in the FA Cup after last year going on a good run. How are you feeling going into that one? Yeah, excited. We're, all, we're always looking for a good run. You know, we've, we've had some good runs in the past, in, in obviously in these competitions, and it's, it's very important not just from the playing side but the money side as well. Obviously, you know, it's mm, yeah. money to be earned, which is it's important for the club to develop the club. But you know, we're going next week as a, a must-win game, and we want we want another good run for ourselves and for the fans.
Cheers, Nick. Thank you for your time. No, he's right.